Yes, hope you all are doing well. So, um, from our English for today, today we are going to we are going through a new rhyme, and this is the very first rhyme from your uh, second term syllabus, and that is about uh, counting kids. Okay, so the rhyme is named as counting kids. So uh, it is the actually very first rhyme after our um, after our first term syllabus. So uh, without um, any, I mean without wasting any words further, let's go through the poem. The rhyme, the title of the rhyme is Counting Kids. One cat, two cat. Brown cat, white cat. That means phonologically there are some of the cats. They are standing in a line and. Uh, the very first one is the uh, one cat. He is in brown dress. I mean, he is in brown color. And the second one is in white color. That means the second one is white and the first one is brown. Then three cats, four cats. Three cats, four cats. Black cat, red cat. That means the third in order is actually black and the fourth in the chronological order is red. Then count the kids at the door. One, two, three, four. Count the kids at the door. One, two, three, four. So how many kids are there? There are four kids. Chronologically, the last one, that means the fourth number, is standing just right beside the door. So uh, the fourth one is in red. The third one is in black. The second one is in white. And the first one is in brown that means uh, there are four types of cats in dif of different colors of uh, the uh, one is brown the second one is white the third one is black and the fourth one is red and count the cats at the door how many uh, how many uh, cats are there there are four cats one two three four so uh, that that was actually a very short rhyme for you uh, so from this poem or uh, from this rhyme, you have to quote some of the most important words. I repeat some more important words. Okay, I will show you uh, what the uh, words are. But before that, see there are na there are so many nouns like cat, like door, uh, the name of different colors. What you have to do, you have to make uh, some of the new sentences about the color like. Um, with uh, brown you can write I have a brown kit with white you can write uh, you, you, can, you can write that my dress is white uh, with red you can write I have a red pen uh, with black the boat is black or the wall is black etc etc okay so uh, try to write some of the new sentences with the given word I mean whatever word it is if you uh, if you uh, find any new word please try to uh, write and try to make some new sentences at least a, a one sentence at a time and uh, let's quote some of the uh, words here this are really very important and very effective for you the first one is counting See the count uh, earlier we have already uh, seen this word in numerous time that count uh, count then cat uh, cat is very uh, common and uh, the most the most common word is cat and red in your book then brown you have to underline every noun like brown white cats black red Cause red is a noun because it's a uh, uh, it indicates color so it's the name of a color then again count cat at the door now the last one is door so we can sense that uh, the words are actually indicating mostly the nouns okay so there are no uh, is there any verb of course there's a verb and that is count so that's it so uh, from every in every rhyme you have to uh, you, you have to look for uh, the parts of this, this that means the word is it uh, is it indicating a verb or preposition or adjective uh, is it a noun or pronoun uh, see as you are now uh, quite expert in in, uh, in searching the different parts of species so i hope you can uh, you can 
find out the specific parts of species in different sentences so uh, that uh, that's all for today hope we will meet with a new uh, rhyme on the next class so till then stay well and take care